Welcome to Happier Those. I'm Heather, and last week I didn't put out one of these little messages because I didn't think that I had anything to say on that day that was really worth asking for five minutes of your time. I don't think we always have something that important to say, no matter how wise or how happy <laughs> we are. I think sometimes we need to know when it's okay to just be still to not be the one having the floor, to not be the one who is the star of the conversation. Um, it's something that most people struggle with, knowing how to step back, to not be on, to not be working, whatever their plan is. And I think um, it goes to kind of the root of some of our discomfort with practices that lead us to wisdom and greater happiness is not knowing how to be still, to not talk. And I don't mean just relaxing like watching TV, which I enjoy doing in the evenings, or listening to music, or some other thing that's occupying your brain. I mean emptying all of that, and sitting, and listening. And I think some people wonder, well, what am I listening for? You know, is it, the, is it for the universe to speak? People will use that expression a lot now about the universe speaking. You know, just put it out in the universe and see what happens, some idea. And it's funny because if you're a science person, which I'm not, I believe in science, but I'm not any good at it, uh, I would say that I think if you only believe in science and nothing else, and the idea of putting something out in the universe would pretty much tell you that it's just going to go <laughs> boomerang off in space and nothing is going to come back. But if you believe or have even maybe considered the idea of the universe speaking is really just language that we use now because all the God language has gotten so messed up and you know, a lot of people in the church who just, I don't know, aren't in a place where they can really embody grace for whatever reason. So that we use things like the universe, meaning I want some big force to answer my questions about life. I want some supernatural power that's out there to speak into my life. And the key to that is to be still. And that supernatural force will speak into your life, will speak into your heart, will begin to lead you and guide you towards deeper wisdom and greater happiness. Because the closer we are walking with the living God of all creation, the universe at work, alive in us, then I think the happier we will be. So think about as we move into fall and then into winter, there can be a lot of busyness, there can be a lot of goal setting for the next year, or there can be a time to just say, I think I'm going to sit back and regroup and wait and be still and listen to see what the God of the universe has to say to me about my life. And I promise that whatever I'm hearing, I will pass it on to you. I think I'll just leave it there. Have a wonderful day. Amen.